used to love when Aaliyah sang, age ain't nothing but a number. But is that really true? On today's case, Mr. Wright says he agreed with that sentiment when he first met the much younger Miss Keys. It was only after she showed her true colors that he realized he hadn't factored in maturity level, honesty, and commitment into the equation. He says she's done everything to prove to him that she's not ready for a serious relationship. Now Mr. Wright is ready to end it for good in divorce court. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, Wright versus Keys. Thank you very much. Mr. Wright, Ms. Keys. Mr. Wright, you brought this case today because you want to end your engagement and you want your ring back because you've had enough of your fiance's lies, deception, and selfishness. Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Keys, you say you're here to save your relationship. You admit to having been unfaithful in the past, but you say you've changed. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so let's see if there's anything left in this relationship. Mr. Wright, you are indeed 10 years older than Ms. Keys. You have been together for four years, engaged for the past year, but you don't have children yet. Something's stopping you from taking that last and final step to make this woman your wife. So, why don't you tell me why we're in court today? Yes, all right. We're here, I'm here to basically end my relationship with my fiance due to the pressures of actually having a baby and being deceitful and untruthful, lying, just old ways coming back into the, to the future that I thought we passed and got over. And that's probably the only real reason why we haven't had a kid yet, minus our future stability. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to own a house and get a business and have stability for her son and my children that I already have. I may go to Ms. Keys. What do you think, Ms. Keys? Um, I feel like I've been living in the past for a few months because mm -hmm. he keeps bringing up the past. And mm -hmm. I feel like I've changed a lot to get to where I am today, and he won't let the past go. And I just don't know what else to do. So let's look at whether or not the past is actually in the past. How did you all meet, and what brings us to this point that we're in divorce court? All right. I was working in the grocery store, mm -hmm. and she came in. She's shopping for cheese and macaroni noodles to make baked macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. And she had the big block of El Chapo cheese and she came up, asked if there were any more other blocks of cheese. And I was like, no, I didn't know El Chapo so cheese. I thought he, you know, just did the other thing. <laughs> and we hit it off. We started flirting. I told her when I see her again, I'll get her number from her. And she went out in the driveway, wrote her number down, gave it to me. I texted her right then before she even left the store and we just hit it off, met later that night and we just been in contact ever since then. So you, it was attraction at first sight is a fair way to put it. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you all started seeing each other. You dated for how long before you started living together? About a month and a half. And then you moved in. Yeah. Now, you know a month and a half is not a long time to get to know somebody before no. you <laughs> go into a committed relationship. But you decided y'all were ready for a committed relationship. So how long before you got engaged? A year and a half. Okay. Two years. Oh, yeah. Okay, because okay. you've now been engaged for a year. Yes. And now it's time to decide whether or not that engagement is going to turn into a marriage. Yes. But you say you're feeling pressure to have a baby. Yes. Tell yeah. me about this pressure. So it's like, at first it was just, you know, jokingly like, oh, my son doesn't have, you know, anybody to play with, like okay. an, a sibling. Even I have a daughter, but she doesn't live with me full time. Got so it. it's like half time for her son. And I know that she really wants to have a daughter of her own. And I'm, I'm cool with that. But it's just the financial part that I wasn't, we weren't stable yet. You're not ready. Yeah. Okay. So, I, you know, I came home one day and after we went out and we had a good day, we were going to be intimate. I see her with the condom in her hand and she has the long pointy nails. So she's like, you know, and it's already out of the wrapper. So I don't know if she's like poking holes in it or, Ooh. you know, trying to force the, the pregnancy to happen you think faster. You think she was trying to move her plan of pregnancy along a little quicker yeah, than you Yeah, just had. a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, yeah. let's just ask the question. Ms. Keys, yeah, right. was that true? No, Your Honor. I had got it out and was getting it ready for when he, you know, got out of the bathroom after freshening up, and he just assumed so much that no matter what I say, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. It sounds like you're not on the same page. 
So, Mr. Wright, help me to understand where you are in your professional career right now. Are you working outside of the home? Yes. Okay. And is Ms. Keyes working outside of the home? Yes. So, you both are gainfully employed? Yes. But um, I assume, as a young man thinking about building a family, you want to try to build up your yes. finances yeah. before you step into a whole big situation. Yes, Am I correct? Honor. That's correct. Have you ever been married before? No, Your Honor. Okay, so if you're gonna do this, you wanna do it right? Yes. Okay. Now, Ms. Keyes, why are you um, putting intense pressure to get pregnant right away? Uh, I'm just going off of what he said, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. You know, he's promised me that we would have kids eventually, so I'm just going off of what he said. Okay, which I completely understand. Um, and I know a lot of women um, think about their own biological clock, but you are young as can be. You're 27 years old. No, I feel like the clock is ticking, though, just because my son is about to be seven, and I don't want their age, you know, to be too far apart. But do you agree that you all have been having some ups and downs, and bringing a baby into the situation would only add to it and complicate it? Yes, yeah. I do realize. So that. this might not be the right time to have a child. Right. Until when we first it met... definitely is not the right time until you resolve issues. Right. And Your Honor. It feels like, in a way, she was trying to trick me because, like, she had bought prenatal pills. Now, that is definitely somebody preparing to get pregnant. We were, right. we were taking the, the vitamins, the one-a-day gummies, and right. early in the morning, and then her pills started to look different than mine. And one day I was cleaning, I happened to open the cabinet, and I found the prenatal vitamin pills, and I asked her, like, what are these? So I looked it up, and I found out that they were prenatal pills. And yeah, because Google is free. You can yeah, find anything. Definitely. Yes, and it is. It, tells, it just told me and myself that she's really, really pushing to have a child. And I just don't think that we're stable enough to have another baby right now. I did, at one point, like when we first got together, I did want to have a baby. What changed? Uh, she cheated on me. I forgave her, but I just can't forget. And then... Nobody does. And people who say they do lie. Um, he was well aware that I was taking the uh, gummies. And when I did tell him about the prenatals, he just acted like he didn't hear me. So when he found them, it was like a surprise, but I don't understand how, because I didn't mention it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going off of what he told me, that this is what we're going to do. Your Honor, it just feels like a, like a trap. If I were you, mm -hmm. before I would lay down with Miss Keys, I would t unwrap my own condom. Yes. I would open the pack my dog on self, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't keep them in a the drawer where anybody could stick an earring or a pin or anything else in it. Yes, Your Honor. So if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do, because no man should be trapped into having a baby mm -hmm. if he doesn't want one right now. And okay? Your Honor, I, I did at one point, like when we first got together, I did want to have a baby. What changed? Uh, she cheated on me and created a whole thing of unstability and just insecurities and untrustfulness. I can't get over it. I forgave her, but I just can't forget. And then... Nobody does. And people who say they do lie. Um, Mr. Wright, what were the circumstances of this, the whole incident? Yeah, I, so I was in New York City. I was on my way back. One of my family members called me to tell me that they thought they seen her with another guy going into a hotel. So I tell my family member to go over there and approach the situation. So he went over there. He 100% verified that it was her. And I called her, I asked her where she was. She said she was a different place. When I got home from the city, we had a conversation about it. She didn't tell the truth right then and there. It's like a couple arguments later, she was forthcoming within the argument, though. So I didn't know if it was true or not. Right. Because when people get mad, they just they, blur they out They lash things. out and they throw yeah. um, inf information and facts out. Yeah, Sometimes it, to get back at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to hurt you. So right. it, might, it might have not, not have been true, but I, she told me that it was true when she said it, so I believed it, and it just hurt, and it just, like, put a, put a wrench in between our love and our, our trust. So, Miss Keys, you understand that that threw a monkey wrench in your trust? Yes, which I know it did, because I've been cheating on the past before, so I know how it feels, and I know how it feels to try to move on. But I was wrong, and he forgave me, but he brings it up all the time, so we can't move forward because we're still stuck in the past. So, 
So here's the thing. I mean, I, I've given this advice many, many times. If a couple decides they can get through, because you never get over to get through a cheating incident or infidelity incident, they have to promise each other that it's not going to be thrown in the other person's face every time there's an argument. Otherwise, you are really just coming up against a brick wall. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. You have to make the determination that you're not going to use it as your catch-all for why you're mad. Mm -hmm. Number two, the person who actually committed the infidelity has to show true remorse. Yes. Um, do you believe that Miss Keys has shown true remorse, Mr. Wright? Sometimes I do, but when once we start arguing, the things that she say, as eh, I don't know, it's hard for me to believe that it's like like 100% back to normal. We do deliveries for uh, food deliveries sometimes. Uh -huh. She was out doing deliveries. I woke up in the middle of the night around 2 in the morning, checked her phone, and there was messages from one of the people that she was delivering to. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. When, when we decided to move, we decided to leave all the negativity and all the stuff behind and it just seems like the patterns are just coming back up. I understand. You decided to actually make a clean start, right? Yes. Move so from... you moved from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast? Yes, Your Honor. And when you moved, tell me what... Tell me how it's manifested itself that makes you worry that same old habits are coming back. Uh, I see, like, the attitudes, the, deceit... the deceitfulness. It's just like, I text you while I'm at work. I don't get a text back for an hour. Yeah, you could have been sleeping, but... I know she's an outgoing person. She likes to go out with the kids like, while she's not at work and while she's home. So for you to not text me and have conversations with me, and then even when you're not doing nothing, it's just no communication, no texting. And when I get home, right here, this is where the phone is. And I've been texting you all day. You got your phone stuck in your face. Oh, I say that to my son all the time. Like, I, I say, I know that you have your phone in your hand all the time, because mm -hmm. I see you like that. <laughs> But when I send you a text message, all of a sudden, you don't see my text. Yeah. So my, my, but I'm talking to my son. You <laughs> not talking uh, to my partner. Uh, yeah, right. So now I turn to you, Ms. Keys. Is this a misunderstanding, or does Mr. Wright have some reason um, to think that there's something untoward going on? Your Honor, I'm a full-time mom. I work full-time. So when he's at work, you know, he expects me to text him all the time. I have things, you know, that I'm doing, you mm -hmm. know, pursuing. I'm just... I do nothing wrong throughout the whole day. I take care of my house, I clean my dishes, take care of my son, and I feel like that's why we came here, for a whole new start, but it just... nothing has started. Why are you still having trust issues? Tell me, Mr. Wright, what's been going on? Your Honor, we do deliveries for uh, food delivery sometimes. Uh -huh. And sometimes we do it together to keep each other company. Other times, we do it separate. Okay. And one day, I came home from work. I went to sleep. She was out doing deliveries. I woke up in the middle of the night, around 2 in the morning, checked her phone, and there was messages from one of the people that she was delivering to. Now, on the app, you can communicate yes. with the person. In order for that person to get your number, you have to give it to them, or That's they have correct. to give it to um, you. Can I? Yeah. Um, on the app you have to have your phone number linked to the account. The only phone number that's linked is his. So I cannot go on the app and text somebody. I have to do it through my phone. What I did was I called the number. It says it cannot go through because I'm not part of the account. So I wrote the number down and just texted them that I forgot items and I'll be back to drop them off. That's... So Ms. Key says it was innocent uh, communication. No, the text messages are from the guy asked, oh, you're cute. Are you single? Those are from him, uh, not me. Do you, you know, do you do this alone all the time? Now, there's lots of sleazy people out there. Did you see any response from Miss Key? Yes. It was basically, thank you for telling me I'm cute. I might be single with the little little tongue emoji or the happy like, part. Ah. Yeah, you know, little sneaky winky eye thing. 
and it's you know that that was just it. It was just me. inappropriate. Yeah, Ms. Keys? it's something that shouldn't happen if you're engaged. Yeah, I, Ms. I, Keys? I don't I don't recall that. Well, he recalls it. I don't. Okay, and we're I not at the recall. Senate Judiciary Committee, yeah. so I don't recall is not the right answer. Um, Mr. Wright mm -hmm. recalls very clearly, otherwise he wouldn't have brought it up. That's what he didn't like. I just wanted the rating and the tip. That's why I went back and I did, you know, brought it back to him. And... So that's a conversation. Remember what we talked about earlier about communicating and being honest? Yes. So if you had just said, look, I'm just trying to get a five-star rating. Right. It was so early in the morning. It was three in the morning, two, like he said. I didn't have time to, you know, communicate. So then, again, these kinds of nitpicky things mm -hmm. become important when they're trust issues. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling him for us, in order for us to move forward, that he has to open that line of communication. No, 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 me. no, no. You broke the trust, you build, rebuild the right. trust. Right, right. So, this is the thing. Everybody has to stand in their caughtness. You broke the trust, how are you... Gonna fix it. Yes. So, let me give you some things that people do when you're trying to rebuild trust. The first thing is you have to have a willingness to work on the relationship. Right. So, whatever was going on in the past, you have to work on making sure you don't repeat right. those negative Right. You understand? Yes. The second thing is, you do have to reflect on the experience. Mm -hmm. So, you have to look back on what led you to get back with your ex right. and to do something that was in violation of the trust. Okay. Right. Your Honor, but there's, like, the social media thing. She's been posting on Facebook how since we got to Arizona, she's been alone, feels like she's alone, she wants to go back to New York, and it's just, like, we came here to, to build it, you know, like build up our relationship and our family. And I submitted evidence to the court of her Facebook post. And... Let, let me see what you're talking about, because I'm, I'm a little confused. Not gonna lie, moving to Arizona was one of the best, worst decisions ever. Hard face. Moving doesn't make you happy. It causes more problems, especially if you don't have a solid foundation. Well... Yeah, and she, she makes me look like the bad guy by saying not having a solid foundation. Well, y'all don't have a solid foundation. No, we let don't. Let me just be very clear. You all don't have a solid foundation. I'm gonna give you tough love right now. This sounds like an immature relationship. Mm -hmm. That it's built on a shaky foundation. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright, you don't trust Ms. Keys. Ms. Keys, you've not really given him a reason to trust you. And you expect Mr. Wright to accept it and accept what has happened in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright, that's up to you. Whether or not you can, I don't know. But she's not making you happy. It's very clear she's not making you happy. The minor criticisms from how you dress to the socks being mismatched. Yes. Those things sound minute to a lot of couples, but to a couple in crisis, they're very big. Mm hmm Because it's just another indicia of this ain't working. Before you go any further, determine whether or not it's worth it. I know you said Ms. Keys provided you with something that had been missing in previous relationships, but everybody's entitled to their own happy. And you can't continue to put her on trial every day for something that has happened in the past. Yes. She can't expect you to get over it, but you have to be honest enough with her if you can't. Mm -hmm. Because she can't live her life on trial every single day. Yes. Ms. Keys, if he can't make peace with what happened in your relationship in the past, it's really time for the two of you to go your separate ways before you further traumatize the children that are in your lives and, God forbid, before you would bring another child into this mess. A child won't fix it, but it can truly complicate the heck out of it. Ooh, some people just don't need to be together because it's just too annoying. They packed up and they left thinking, let's start over. Mm -hmm. But you're only bringing your problems with you wherever you go. They packed their problems right in the suitcases and brought them to Arizona. Exactly. And they're still there. Mm -hmm. Made in Georgia.